Hey guys, this is Todd from the Innovation Group, and I've got Stephanie and Dominic with me. We're at the first day of three days at CES. It's a giant show, three million square feet. Why don't you come in with us and see what we find? So a lot of the things that we're going to see in the show are augmented mixed reality. Basically, it's wearing glasses or sunglasses that have a heads-up display. And what it's doing is it's overlaying digital information on top of the real world. There's everything from holographic way to play slot machines, because we're in Vegas, of course. And then there's being able to see the weather uh, and really see the weather as it's happening, which you may not be able to see, because you're going to see these fans, which are actually behind. But what I see is this lovely man trying to sell me some shoes. What we're doing is instead of using a Z4 sensor, we avoid the need to touch. And what we're doing is we're tracking eyes as well as gesture and, and by where I'm pointing. And that's kind of how we get our recognition and how we become more accurate. We could even see this replace ATM machines, for example. Oh yeah, you know, so being in banking, that's really interesting really? because you also still have that touch exactly. issue. We went from keyboards to the touch mm -hmm. screens and so being able to do something like this is pretty cool. Absolutely. It's just out for your VR system. Being able to run and run and run without running into your wall. This is a little chip with sensors on it that can be put into packages uh, when you're shipping. And so it can tell that something that's been shipped has not been dropped too hard or turned on its side or whatever the case may be. So that when something reaches its destination, you can tap it with your phone and an app will show you that it's in con good condition or not. Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. We call it artificial humans. So in every way, we are attempting to achieve 100% reality. And we want, we want people to understand that they're talking to a person. Right. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. You're not talking to the internet. What a big day. It was my first day, full day, at CES. We did five and a half miles of all new technology. My brain is full, but I'm excited to see what I can learn tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, compared to last year, it seems like all the smart home stuff is way more interconnected than it was in the past. It just keeps getting better and better. Super impressed with all the innovation we've seen here today. It was not disappointing, and we can't wait to come back tomorrow and show you more.